guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is me trying out natural collection makeup so today I'm doing a full makeup tutorial trying out testing out um, lots of different makeup items from natural collection I'm not sure how this is gonna go you'll see why in a minute but I already have um, two products by natural collection that I use really regularly that I use on an everyday basis and that's the bronzer and the blush but all the other things are brand new and I'm testing them out today I'm also doing a foundation wear test um so yeah let's just get started okay so I don't have a primer um by natural collection so I'm just going to use the Barry M flawless hydro fix primer water okay so I picked up the Natural Collection Long Lasting Foundation. I'm pretty sure this was the lighter shade that they did. And this was the shade Porcelain. And I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it was the lightest shade, but it's going to be very dark for me. But I have a foundation mixer to mix it in. So first of all, this is the Natural Collection Long Lasting Foundation. It has 15 hour wear. It glides on the skin, leaving smooth, medium coverage for up to 15 hours. So it claims to have medium coverage, so we'll see. And yeah, this is the shade Porcelain, and I'm pretty sure it's the lightest one. But I'm going to be using the NYX Pro Foundation Mixer in the shade White, um, just to lighten it up a bit. So I've never tried this foundation before, so I'm going to mix it on the back of my hand with the foundation mixer. I have no idea how much I'm going to need, but as you can see on the back of my hand it is very dark. Then I'm going in with some foundation mixer, and then I'm just going to mix that because I don't know how much I'm going to need, so I'm just going to mix that a second. So as you can see we are getting there, I'm going to try that shade, so I'm just going to do this a second. And then I'm going to blend that in with my Sunday IEV microfiber sponge. That's a much better colour match. One thing I should say as well is if you don't know Natural Collection, it's a very affordable makeup brand. I'm pretty sure that most of these items that I'm discussing are $1.99. I think the foundation might have been $2.99 or $3.99, um, but most of the products are around $1.99. So it's a very affordable brand. Um, you can get it in Boots, but I think they sell some on Amazon as well. Um, but I bought all of mine on the Boots website. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of extra coverage here and there, just because I have a lot of product left on my hand. Okay, so just looking at it now, I would say that using the foundation mixer, the colour match is perfect. Um, obviously it would have been way too dark if I didn't use a foundation mixer. So just bear that in mind if you're the same um, skin tone as me or lighter porcelain is going to be way too dark for you so you're going to need um, a foundation mixer to mix in with it i've got to say i literally did one squirt of this and a little goes a long way especially if you're using the mixer as well i feel like this foundation is going to be um it's going to last quite a long time um you only need a little bit and it does go a long way and i've also still got some left on the back of my hand as well um but i'm actually liking the way it looks so far so I like the way it looks on my skin. It does look natural on my skin. I wouldn't say medium coverage. I'd say light to medium, but you can build up the layers, I'm sure. I imagine if you used a brush, it'd probably give you more full coverage. But no, I actually really like the way it looks with a sponge. I like the way it's applied. I like the colour. I like the finish. So it's not too um, dewy. It's not too matte. It's kind of in the middle. So, so far so good with that foundation. Okay, so now I picked up a concealer. This is the Natural Collection Concealer. It's like a stick and it's in the shade Fair, which also looks incredibly dark. I don't know if you can see. So I'm very scared to use it, to be honest. I'll do a little bit, but I may need to go over the top with another concealer. So, yes, that's a little bit dark. We'll blend it in now. We'll see how it goes. 
I don't think this is going to give me much coverage either. I'm just going to blend that in with the same sponge. Wow, this dries fast. Oh my gosh. Okay, so immediately I don't like that concealer. It looks chalky under my eyes. Um, it's dried so quickly, I can't even blend it in in time. Um, I'm not so keen on that concealer. So, so far the foundation is good. Well, so far. But I'm not so keen on that concealer. I'm not going to put another concealer on top because I genuinely want to see how this concealer performs throughout the day. I don't think it's giving me any coverage at all. But I'd, I'd be interested to see how that looks throughout the day. So I'm not going to use another concealer on top. I'm now going to go in with the powder. This I'm imagining this to be okay. This is the National Collection Matte Pressed Powder. And to set my eye area first, I'm using my e.l.f. small tapered brush. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm using my Use by C31 brush. I can immediately tell that I really like that powder. That's a really nice powder. I'm not as keen on pressed powders. I prefer loose powders. But for a pressed powder, I actually really like it. It's not chalky. Um, and sometimes with pressed powders, you have to use a lot more. You have to keep going in to set your face because I have really oily skin. But I didn't have to keep dipping in all the time. I just did a section um, at a time. And I think it looks really nice. Let's see if that helps keep my oily skin under control throughout the day. So I think this was like $1.99, so amazing. So that's good so far. I forgot to say, it's in the shade Neutral as well. Okay, now I'm going to go in with bronzer. So this is a product that I've been using for a while, so I know that I love it. And it's the Natural Collection Bronzing Powder in the shade Copper. And I'm using my Real Techniques blush brush to apply it. This is just like the perfect bronzer for people with pale skin. Um, I really struggle to find bronzers pale enough for my pale skin, but this one is amazing. And then same for the blush. I absolutely love this blush. It's the Natural Collection Powder Blusher in the shade Pink Cloud. It's an amazing blush. It's also $1.99, I think. Um, it's so pretty and feminine. You can build up the layers. I just love how it looks on my skin. And it's great for pale skin as well. And I'm using my ColourPop F1 brush to apply it. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you in to do some eyeshadow. So I picked up the... Natural Collection Mono Eyeshadows, and mine is in the shade Vintage Pink. Um, it's not pink, it's brown. So I'm just gonna pop that through the crease, and I'm going to use my Morphe R37 brush. Oh, it has, it has nice pigment um, so far. I'm just going to pop some on my lower lash line as well using my Morphe E18 brush. So I actually really like this. I wish I'd bought more shades of these mono eyeshadows. I actually really like them. They look really, really nice. Super easy to blend. You can build up the pigment. Lovely. And I think it was only like $1.99 as well. So bargain. I really like that. Okay, so I don't have an eyeliner, but I do have a mascara. So I'm using the Natural Collection Length Mascara in the shade Black. So I'm going to curl my lashes with my Tweezerman eyelash curlers first. Okay, before I zoom you out, I want to show you the mascara. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it doesn't look like I've got anything on. Um, I'm a very fussy person with mascara anyway. I'm really, really fussy. But I cannot get my lashes to curl up. I've, I've curled my lashes. I cannot get this mascara any thicker. I can't get them to stay. My eyes feel really sticky. And my eyes have not stopped watering since I put it on. So that's not good. So I'm very fussy with mascara anyway, but I definitely wouldn't recommend this mascara. My eye is constantly leaking. So 
We'll see how long that lasts throughout the day. Um, I do not like how my mascara looks at all, um, which is annoying, but um, my most concern is my eyes are just watering constantly. So that will not be fun all day. As you can see, it's just it just looks terrible, my mascara. So mascara is a big no-no. And then the final thing I have to try is a lip gloss. This is the Natural Collection Lip Gloss in the shade Raspberry Ripple. I've got to be honest, I was not expecting that. <laughs> uh, very shiny and glittery. And metallic? I don't know about that. It smells amazing. But I don't know. Okay, so let's get my first impressions on everything. So, foundation, first impression, thumbs up. I'm liking the way it looks. I just wish the colour range was better. It's annoying that I've got to mix it with something else. But I do like it and I hope that it lasts throughout the day. Concealer, no, didn't like it. But I'm interested to see how it looks throughout the day. Love the bronzer, love the blush. But I knew that anyway because I've had them um, in my collection for quite a while. Loved the eyeshadow. I need to get more shades of that. I really like the way that that blended. And I like the pigment. So I really like that. Didn't like the mascara at all. That's got to be the worst one I think. The mascara is going in the bin unfortunately I will not be using that again and I'm not so keen on the lip gloss either I just don't like the way it looks don't like the finish but it feels nice it's not too sticky feels nice on your lips so maybe the other shades would be better but I've got to say for the price it's very good I would say if you're on a budget um, for makeup definitely try out the foundation and the oh I forgot to mention the powder the powder I also really really liked I love the way that it has set my face it's not chalky or anything so I hope it keeps me nice and um matte throughout the day um but yeah I would say try out natural collection so far it's okay for me there's just one or two things that I wouldn't repurchase or just wouldn't use again but most of the products are actually really good and for the price it's really really good and I am going to wear this makeup all day I'm going to do a normal foundation review where I check in with you after two hours six hours and then eight hours um so I will let you know how the makeup is looking throughout the day but so far I just don't like the mascara don't like the concealer and I'm not keen on lip gloss but everything else so far so good so we will check back in in two hours time and we'll see how it's looking then so see you then Hey guys, so it's been two hours since the makeup was first put on and I just looked in the mirror and honestly I can't really notice any difference um, at this point. It's only been on for a few hours so really there's not much change at all. Um, the only thing is my eyes have constantly been watering from this mascara so I'm literally just going to throw it in the bin after today. Um, so that's the only difference that I've noticed. Everything else is looking exactly the same as it did when I first put it on. So, so far so good. So I will check back in in another few hours to see how it's looking then. Okay guys, so it's been six hours now wearing the makeup and I'm in a bit of shock to be honest because I just had a thorough look in the mirror and my face still looks pretty much the same as it did when I last filmed, nothing has really changed. I mean, I've got slightly more oily, nothing too serious, nothing more than I normally would. In fact, I think I'm less oily than I normally would be at this point of the day. Nothing else has changed. I mean, my underneath my eyes aren't great because the concealer wasn't great. And the mascara, by the way, stopped making my eyes water, but it doesn't mean that I'm gonna be using it again, but it did eventually stop. But the foundation, the powder, all the other products still look amazing on my face. It's just a real shame that the colour match wasn't perfect for my foundation and I had to use a white mixer. So that's kind of annoying. But other than that, everything else is looking amazing. But I'm going to leave it on for another two more hours um, just to give it a full test and we'll see if it's any different then so i'll see you in a few hours okay so it's been about seven and a half hours now wearing the makeup so i'm gonna take it off soon so i've noticed around my chin it has worn away and the sides of my nose as well um but other than that it's still looking the same the eyeshadow is the same the bronzer the 
blush the powder is great i'm not that oily normally by now i'm a lot more oily so the powder is really good and i actually really like the foundation i think it's held pretty well it is quite long lasting it's just worn away a little bit around my chin um but it has been on for nearly eight hours so that's pretty good but like i said the mascara is a no-no for me so yeah overall natural collection gets a thumbs up from me because it is so affordable and i actually think that most of the products are pretty good so yeah thumbs up from me and that completes this video thank you so much for watching i hope that you liked it if you did please give it a big thumbs up down below make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not already so you can see all my other videos and let me know in the comments if you have tried or if you use natural collection makeup what did you like about it what's your favorite products so let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you all in my next video bye